this is a flexure that I designed um, for the fractal vise. And uh, what you see here basically is a triangular base and, um, and then the platform at the top here. And uh, that platform then connects via this serpentine route to the base. Here there is a connection, which actually is, is not preferable. There's connection, you know, both uh, the top layer and the bottom layer are going to be printed in a bond, and I don't prefer that, but um, it's just a convenience for printing because uh, bridging across that would probably be a little difficult. In fact, you can see that I've made uh, some continents uh, are consideration for, for bridging. So this little portion here, this little stub, um, is there to uh, make it so that from this center point to this outer point, um, bridging is easy and, uh, and that there's not a distorted bridge here and it more approximates the actual shape we want. I also have another convenient stub down here and, you know, I can cut those away if I need to. They're basically there so that I don't need to use supports and the print can go faster. Um, and uh, also, you know, if the flexure is compressed, as if someone had put their hand on the face of it and shoved downward, uh, these will distribute some of the forces a, a little more evenly. So I'll show you how I made this. Um, going all the way back... Uh, we've got our origins and our sketches. And um, and this is our first sketch. And, uh, and so you can see that what I've done is I only have one of the... Uh, one, one side of the flexure, and then the flexure is going to be mirrored. Uh, and then the circle indicates how I generated, you know, my, my goal of having a flexure that will rotate around a central point, like in the central point of this, the origin of this uh, circle. And, um, and then that means that with this type of setup, the rotation on the pad will happen in the center of a circle and you'll get the circular motion, which is going to be perfect for our fractal vice flexure. And, um, and so that's, uh, that's how I went about doing that. Then I did an extrusion and why isn't it showing the extrusion? There we go. Bodies. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and that's the, the, uh, the basis shows I'm going on. Where's my fit? Fits F6. Okay. And, um, and so that's one side. Then it gets uh, beveled a little um, to make uh, some edges round that probably shouldn't be super sharp. And then um, we go through the mirroring process for it where we move uh, the, second, the second piece onto there. So we've got, um, I ended up mirroring this and then doing a move. So um, I mirrored along one plane, and then I shoved it to the right on top of it. And uh, and then from there, bonded the two surfaces together, made my um, made it so that they're, they're a single entity, and um, then made the little, uh, the little stubs for for the uh, for it to be supported while it's doing its bridging. And so that was the that was the process of making this flexure. Set that in focus. Need little little nubs. Halfway through the Fractal Vice project, I realized that holding my camera in one hand and uh, taking video of Fractal Vice stuff was not going to work, so I built this.
like a good little teeter-totter with slightly more complexity and no hinge. Dance party. All right, now we're going to make this, uh, this guy into a fractal vice. And, uh, all right, we're going to move them over, make a duplicate. No, make another duplicate. And duplicate again. But scale up. All right, there's our first fractal section. Let's try again with another fractal section. These might collide in ways that I don't enjoy, but we'll see how it actually behaves in real life. And one more to tie it all together. There's, uh, there's our vice for now. It's really thin. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter its Z dimension and thicken it up. But I'll do that in Cura in the 3D printing software. And uh, for now, I'll just keep all the, the default modeled ones as little thin devices. So, yep, that's the fractal vise. Now let's see how it turns out. All right, that looks good. Uh, Russell, Russell, oh, oh. Okay, those moved. I uh, messed up here, you can tell. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, almost. Come on. Come on. Not. Now. Won't do it. Ah, there we go. Woo! Yeah. Yes. 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 Look at that. Look at that. Mm. All right. Uh, second piece. Oh. All right. That's satisfying. How long? Ten. Yes. All right. This one has this, the the uh, brim, so that it actually uh, oh man it does not want to focus. Uh, it actually gets the pieces here correctly. There we go. I definitely have to make these taller. If it were more like double width, we would have enough height to uh, capture some of those elements that have a center of gravity that cause them to pop out. Thank you, everybody.